Looking at the differential in front of us, a bevel gear with seven teeth, three of which are broken. Anywhere else but Pakistan, it would likely have been thrown away. But master repairmen always say, everything can be fixed, except matters of the heart. First, they took a lump of clay and kneaded it in what looked like a professional manner. Yes, he had many years of experience in this. Nothing can challenge these Pakistani craftsmen. The mud they use has incredibly strong adhesion, easily clinging to the gear teeth and allowing for external shaping. It's an ideal material for mold making. After kneading for a while with great skill, we saw what its mold looked like. Did it match your imagination? Next, they use these aluminum blocks as the base material to create molds for the gears. The craftsman uses an oxyacetylene torch to heat them until the aluminum melts into liquid form. Because molten aluminum can cause serious burns if handled directly, they use pliers to pour it into a prepared mold, ensuring it fills every corner and crevice. After waiting several dozen minutes for the aluminum to cool and harden, the mold is removed. Once the mold is taken off, what we have is a perfect replica that matches the gear teeth precisely. This mold will be used in later measuring and repair steps to ensure the gear is restored properly. After confirming the mold is flawless, the next step is welding. When the welding is complete, the surface of the bevel gear is still not entirely smooth, so the craftsman moves the part to a lathe for machining. As the lathe starts running, a gentle sound fills the air, and the craftsman slowly brings a sharp cutting tool close to the part to begin precision machining. He carefully adjusts the position and speed of the cutting tool according to the gear teeth's working principles, ensuring each cut is accurate to the millimeter. Over time, the previously damaged areas are carefully refined, making the gear teeth edges smooth and even. Due to a lack of specialized equipment, surface machining of the gear teeth cannot be done directly on the lathe. So the craftsman uses an angle grinder and works by hand until the shape of the gear meets the required standard. After rough grinding, he took the custom die from earlier and fixed it to the gear teeth, pushing back and forth to see if it was smooth. After obtaining accurate measurements and confirming every gear tooth meets quality standards, the craftsman replaces the grinding wheel and begins the final polishing phase. As the polishing machine rotates, the fine grit gradually wears away any remaining surface imperfections, leaving the gear teeth with a mirror-like shine. After this meticulous polishing process, the gears now show virtually no signs of previous damage. However, this is not the final step. To ensure everything is perfect, the craftsman uses the mold again to check the details one last time. Only when everything is confirmed to be perfect is the repair considered complete. 